says we're live. But I don't see me. Don't see me. Refresh. There we are. Okay. I have a viewer already. Hi, Patty. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in so long. <laughs> All right, let's share. How are you doing? Let's see. Hi, Pamela. Hey, Trisha, how are you? I'm just sharing out. I'm trying to find my own groups. There we go. There's one. Uh, yeah, till the 5th. I still am having the raffle. You bet. The moons are way over there, though. Yep, and you can enter as many times as you like. It's $5.55. I'm having a weird night. It's $5.55. Oh, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. I think I drank lemonade with sugar. I'm supposed to not have sugar. Okay, <laughs> okay. We'll send your, your tummy some healing. You're welcome, Pamela. Sorry, guys, I have a lot of groups that I share too. So who's all from the 80s? Who all grew up as teenagers in the 80s?
it is a Wednesday. We might not get too many people. Oh, there we go. Hey, Mackenzie, how are you? All right, I think I'm pretty much done with the groups. Hey, Deborah. <laughs> I shared the KV already. And I think I'm about done sharing. It took me six minutes. Wow. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for my heart. I'm freezing. It's freezing in here. You were on the phone? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were still watching a movie. Hey, Nikki. There you are. I said I was ready when you are. <laughs> oh, she's... And I'm tired. Ugh. You know, Pamela, I have to tell you, I told Deborah, Deborah, I don't know if you listened to any of my messages um, before you came onto the live, but <laughs> I got a I got a space heater over here that I'm gonna turn on, but um it's just because I'm tired. Slightly sage and earthly snow. It does. I burned a lot of sage today. <laughs> I did a ritual today. Uh, a protection ritual. Yes, we are. We got we got some plastic, but not enough. Yep. We're going to be doing that. It's, it's kind of hard because I'm restoring the woodwork in the house around the windows. So, tomorrow, I did the second coat on the big bay window today. So tomorrow I'll probably finish it up. Down for a reading. Okay. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Pamela, before the live, when I started getting ready, my ears started burning. And the back of my neck started burning. And uh, that's the God of Mercury that comes <clears throat> to me to help strengthen my healing energy. And uh, I was like, I don't know who it is who's going to be on this live that needs healing. But somebody does. It's you, I think. <laughs> you and your tummy, yeah. Hey, Leah, how are you? Yeah, this house is about a hundred years old. Maybe, let me see, I think almost a hundred. It was 23, I think it was built. So Pamela, this energy is going out to you to help you feel better. And sleeping a lot. A lot of people are. A lot of people. Wood, sage, earth, cold air. Yeah. <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this house, though. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, did I... You remember... I don't know who I told, but probably just Deborah. We've lived in a hundred year old house. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have sanded that down. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, remember we had one window that just disappeared? It wasn't anywhere in this house. Yeah. It showed up yesterday at the bottom of the basement stairs like it had been sitting there the whole time. Hey, Christine, how are you? Who I work with? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's so funny, Mackenzie. <laughs> okay, Nikki, you're on the board. We got Deborah, Mackenzie, and Nikki. Let me see. Here's my notebook. Ugh. I'm going to start writing it down so I don't get lost. How are you doing, Christine? Send healing out to everybody because I am just burning up. Nice train. I know it. It's like a block from my house. <clears throat> I love it. Trains are my favorite. Along with along with everything else in the world. <laughs> hey Patty. Thank you for my hearts. <laughs> I have to study or practice a work demo. Okay, good vibes for all. All right, I'll give you yours in Messenger. I'll send it to you. Oh. I'll send healing as well. A lot of people are feeling that uh, depression, feeling really low and just, yeah, I've been talking to a lot of people and depression is hitting a lot of people hard right now. Yeah, even I'm feeling it. Yep. I've been going through like bouts of what I, what I call pissed offness and I don't normally get pissed off. I'm number three. I'll definitely try to stick around. Okay. Yep, I'll get you a card, Christine. My train is about three and a half miles, but I hear it all night. Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, in the country, you can hear it. Gotcha, Christine. Okay. Got a different different deck tonight. Hey Leah, how are you? <laughs> let's let's switch up the decks to see if we can't get some different cards. Hey, Brittany, <clears throat> how are you? But uh, hey, Thalia, no such luck. <laughs> Well, maybe a few a few different cards, but still. All right, Deborah, the first card you got is the sun. Pretty good. Waiting for the littlest 
to fall asleep. Oh. The one over the bed, what? I'm doing good, Thalia, how are you? Santa bring me a yummy man. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so have fun. Be happy. Be our, your authentic self. Is it scruffy? Oh, the picture. Yep, somebody painted that for me. It's a picture of Scruffy. <laughs> he is. And then the lady is. Yeah, she. She's a Paris chick. Let's see. What else? Behind on the right. I'd be opposite of you. So over here. The other shelf. Hold on. No, this shelf over here. Oh, yeah, with the cat on it. That's a little jewelry box. <laughs> it's a jewelry box. The brown one. The black box with the cat on it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I gotta get dizzy. You were right, yes. <laughs> right? I can barely see that cat from here. <laughs> Be your authentic self. Let your light shine for everybody to follow. Yep. So they can see it like a, a beacon in the night. We have the page, the page of wands. Pages usually represent younger people. It could represent you, somebody you know, some part of you to call upon now. But this page is just learning or just very passionate about mastering his his actions and his well Santa bring I got you. <laughs> you gotta wait your turn, Christine. <laughs> Gain, well, he's gaining the mastery needed for the things that he's passionate about, and his desires, that fiery disposition, trying to become a king. And of course, we get the, the Queen of Swords. Mm. The Queen of Swords, very, very smart lady. She can cut you with her, with her tongue. Sagittarius, Sagittarius loves patience. <laughs> patience as in like sick clients. <laughs> the Queen of Swords, yeah. I was trying to get you some different cards. We got the Queen of Swords. And we also have the Five of Wands. That's a new one for you. This is about being prepared. It's about arguments or disagreements. And I feel not arguing until or unless you know you've done. Hey, Annie, that research, that uh, being prepared, being prepared, yep. I think that's what you do. I don't think you do argue unless you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Could be a friendly debate, too. We have the devil. Speak of the devil. The devil. The devil reminds us that 
<laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I know. That we are the we are what keeps ourselves trapped in our habits, in our cycles, in the things that we know aren't good for us, but we do anyway. I suppose you've had to change all of that, huh? Hey, Kim. How are you? <clears throat> he was almost in reverse like this. So I think, I think what he is saying is that that's what you've been doing. Yeah. Cutting out old habits. Starting a whole new lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I've got to put my hair up. My hands are freezing, but yet my ears and my neck are just like on fire. Sugar-free cheesecake jello is my savior for now. Yeah. Does it taste good? You need me, Annie? I'm here. But I have a list of people. Oh, I don't have your Oracle cards here. Here they are. Sugar-free cheesecake, yeah. I'm with you on all topics. Ah. It's jello. Yeah, cheesecake jello. Or cheesecake flavored jello. And it's sugar free. She's had to do a whole diet change. She got diagnosed with diabetes. I had to drink uh, sugar-free French vanilla in my coffee today. I can't stand it. It tasted like poison. <laughs> I'm a spoiled baby. <laughs> right? Your sweet tea. I couldn't even imagine. Well, I can't imagine because when I got diagnosed with hypoglycemia, I had to change my diet. Yeah. But I got to eat good things, you know. I got to eat roast and, and pasta and <laughs> fish, <laughs> all sorts of good things. Okay, Annie. Can't have sugar because it goes right through you. Yeah. Yeah. Bats in the belfry, belfry, you can achieve great things. Two months since I had sweet tea. Oh, wow. Man, time is just flying. I was telling Jess about the, the busy signal <laughs> and how old I feel. <laughs> I never realized that. So bats in the belfry, you can achieve great things. All right, I got you down on the list, Annie. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie. Mackenzie's next. So, 
You're back good, because I'm just, just about to give you your reading. I didn't know you left. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Color ID, yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> it doesn't happen on a cell phone. Or not on Wi-Fi, anyway. On a regular phone. But who has a regular phone? Pamela does. <laughs> I wish I still had a regular phone. House phone, yep, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, being out there, I, I can imagine. Hey, Gary, how are you? Excuse me. Work will rudely interrupt you. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Christina. Before heading to bed, I was going to message you yesterday. I haven't gotten to it yet, but how was your vacation? Wouldn't own a cell phone, yeah. <laughs> He's stubborn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mackenzie. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hold on. I'm hitting my mouse. For the old people. <laughs> That's funny. I can imagine. I can imagine it was the least offensive art he's ever made. That just calls, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, your first card is the Emperor. The Emperor is, he teaches us stability, responsibility, security, taking care of family, and, you know, just being responsible and building that, that stable foundation to build upon. He's the father of the tarot, or of the higher arcana, either way. Yep, tell you, I'll get you a card. Oops. We won't talk about phones. Hey, Shantae. Hey, Phoenix. Ah, the gang's all here. <laughs> All right, so we're starting out with stability and being responsible, building that, that home and that family, that just the foundation of it to build upon. There's going to be a celebration, the Three of Cups. This is about celebrating the people that support you, your friends, your family, the ones that you support and who support you. It's about showing them gratitude and celebrating in your relationship. Okay, so go out and party. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The end of one phase and the beginning of a new. So the 
asking a prayer for my baby's son. He's sick. Okay. Yeah. We will. I'll get you a card. Yep. Yeah. And we will send healing. <laughs> this is about a, um, entering that new phase of life <laughs> well off um, with an inheritance of sorts. It doesn't necessarily mean money, but it, it kind of does. Just that lump sum, getting a lump sum from family or other places, but entering into that new phase of life financially stable. There we go. There's still something that's on your mind. The Nine of Swords. Something that you're worried about. Something that may be plaguing you or not letting you sleep too much or enough. But You have what it takes to deal with whatever is bothering you or whatever worry you have. Okay. It's time to squash it. Squash it like a bug because there's nothing to worry about. Everything, your job. Okay. Yeah. Well, you have what it takes to deal with it and be able to put it to rest. Thank you for my hearts. And then your last card, <laughs> which I love, the emperor and the the celebration, the ending of a one of one phase going into a new. And then we end with the two of cups, the the true lovers card in my opinion, because it goes, you know, it's about a relationship. It's about uh, equal amount of love, honor, trust respect and just actual perfect partners yeah the two of hearts the two of hearts the two of cups yep I love it and you've got the family stability card Everything is working out as it was meant to. Yep. Let's see. I'm going to get you a spirit animal oracle card. So what's up with the job? How come you're worried about your job? Is it stressful? I should. That's a good reading, yeah. I'm glad that makes you happy. All right, let's see what spirit animal is with you right now, giving you strength and wisdom. We got bumblebee community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. I just don't feel like I should be there. Kind of want to change career paths for um, more stability when going to have children. Yeah. Mission consistency, yeah. Okay, Pamela. Yeah, that's understandable. So what other career paths are you looking at? So your community, that's your family, yep. Togetherness. All right. Nikki, are you here? Is Nikki here? Oh. 
forensics. A mortician. I Oh, I wanted to do that job almost my whole life. Yep. Okay, Nikki, it's your turn. A, that mortician was a lot of schooling, a lot of years of school. I think it was just so much as much as a doctor, if not more. Forensics too. That would be fun. Anyone money. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> Student loans, yeah. Yep. They're definitely something to fear. Interesting. One, two. All right. Well, I have to say, Nikki, you know I don't do reversed cards. I start out with all my cards being upright. Okay. So when one gets reversed, it's time to pay attention. Patience is key. Yeah, Brennan will be rich one day. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. Patience is key. Yeah, one of the keys. So, Nikki, you got two two reversed cards here, which is very rare. So I want you to pay attention, okay? First card is the Six of Wands. This says that you need to give yourself the credit that's due. This person has come back from battle victorious. This person's been through a lot of shit and has come through it brilliantly. And you need to recognize your brilliance, your ability, your courage, your strength, and you need to give yourself the credit that's due, and you need to be open to receiving the credit that is being given. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's time. You need to, you need to just be proud of yourself. I know that's hard sometimes. But you've been through a lot of shit, a lot of big shit that most people don't go through. Okay. Yeah. Let it flow to let it go. Okay, Mackenzie. So stand tall in this in this power. Okay, in this truth. You've been through a lot. You too got the ten of of uh, coins, which is about an inheritance. It doesn't always mean money. It could be, you know, health wise. It's our earth element, so it, it does cover our financial, our career, our money matters, and our health on all levels. Physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Okay. And this is about inheritance or inheriting something from your family, your ancestors. But it's a good thing, not a bad thing. Okay. 
If it was reversed, I would say it was maybe not such a good thing. But this one is upright. Okay. So it may be, you know, mental strength, emotional strength. Could be money. And it's the closing of one phase and the beginning of a new. Okay. And going into this new phase with everything that you were meant to gain from this last phase. Okay. This is your first reversed card. This is the king. The king of pentacles. So the king of pentacles. It's a court card. It could represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. I don't think you want to call upon them. The reversed king. Because he is quite opposite of his upright meaning. The, the king upright represents somebody who is very good at business or in the health field. Um, very balanced when it comes to his finances. He can be selfish. He likes to spend money on himself. So, and you know, he likes to live the life that he's worked hard to obtain, you know, but in reverse, maybe he's too giving. He's not very financially stable. Um, he's not living the, the life that he's wanting to. Okay. So just remember that. Keep that one in mind. You'll know who it, it represents. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It just means that he isn't there yet. Okay? It's time to take a mental rest. you got to break away from whatever situation is weighing on you the most. You, yeah, yeah. And you need to break away from it completely. Like, take a mental break from it. Distract yourself so that you can gain the clarity needed in order to deal with this situation. Okay? And, you know, if it's your depression, there's no way you can break away from it. But there are things that you can do to help it get better and remember it's only temporary this is only temporary this too shall pass <clears throat> okay hon now you get, this is a big one this is a big one you got the star card in the reverse so you know the star card is all about healing taking that time to heal so you are not taking the time that you need to heal. I'm getting chills everywhere. This is very important, Nikki, and I want you to take that time that you need. You deserve it. You've earned it. This is important because you matter. And now is the time. Now is the time. You need to take the time to heal. This card says it's always darkest right before the dawn. And if it's in the reverse, it's hard for you to see that right now. Hard to be optimistic and hopeful. Your guides know that. They know, they see, and they feel your struggle. So you need to be careful. And you need to... You need to do something to change the situation or the experience, okay? I'm hugging you right now, just so you know, Nikki. I don't like giving bummer readings. 
Not that I think that was a bummer reading. I think that that was very important for you to hear. Break away from the chaos. I love you, Nikki. <laughs> Makes sense. So many good. All this. Yeah. Yeah. You need to recognize your brilliance, your beautiful self, your vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. You better recognize you had more than one card saying that tonight. Recognize how brilliant you are. Brilliant and vibrant and beautiful and colorful and fun. Crazy. My crazy sister. I gotta fix my cards here before I move on. Make sure there's no more reversed ones. I love the sunflowers, you know. Thank you, Nikki. If you need to message me, you know I'm in Messenger all the time. I practically live there. Well, lately it's been a little less than normal because I've been working on this house. But I'm not going to work so hard during the winter because uh, i got to make it last. i got to stretch it out. And I gotta get my career back on track. No more reversals. Okay. So those were definitely for you. I love this deck. It's always done that for me. I'll start with them all upright, and they'll, it'll reverse the cards that need to be reversed. Oh. I'm going to smoke a little half cigarette here. Almost an hour. All right, is Christine still here? Christine, Deborah, me and... The cat had a fight over my dinner. Oh my goodness. I had to evict his ass to the living room. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> Spoke to you. Good. Good. I'm glad. I worry about you. All right, Christine is not here. Annie, Annie, are you still here? Hello. Do I call you Mayra or you? You're traumatized by the baby kitty? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Annie is not here. Thalia. Thalia and Shante. Thalia, you want a tarot card? Is Thalia here or Shante?
Shante, okay. Shante, you want a tarot card or an oracle card? Thalia, you're here? Okay. Both of you, which one do you want? A tarot card or an oracle card? Ooh, I'm getting chills. Big time. I'm feeling it or um tarot. All right, I'm going to pull Thalia first. And then Shantae. Okay, I'm drawn to the tarot for both of you, actually. <laughs> Thalia, you got the fool. My favorite card, a new adventure. A new experience is coming in. And the fool wants you to be open to the experience. No judgments, no, no idea of what it could be or should be. Just completely open to let it unfold the way it's meant to in all of its glory. Okay? Even if it's not a very fun adventure, sometimes our adventures are not very fun. It still has meaning and has something to tell you. So be open to hearing it, okay? Okay, Shante, you're next, and then I'm going to hop off. Tonight was a good night. You're welcome, Thalia. You're welcome. And thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing, everybody. All right, Shante. My cards kind of redeemed themselves. They've been on punishment. <laughs> Oceans of love, Deborah. <laughs> My cards. What is going on? Okay, well. There's no other reverse cards and you all seen me put all my cards upright, okay? You too. <laughs> yeah, I put them on punishment. That's why I was using that other deck. <laughs> they were they weren't working for me, right? They were being smart ass like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the King of Swords reversed. Which is very strange to me. It's, it's, uh, okay. So I'm going to start here. <laughs> so upright, the king of swords is very smart. He can be very. Not very, but manipulative because he's so smart and he knows how to maneuver to get his way. Um, he can sometimes, you know, be cutting with his tongue because he doesn't take other people's feelings into account when he speaks because he's so set in logic. But upright, that would be just, the, or I mean, reversed would be just the opposite. So somebody who is smart but isn't using their logic, they're using maybe their emotions more so. Um, not thinking things through, not, not having a plan in place in order to get to that said goal. So this is a court card. It could represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. 
Um, which I usually feel with reverse cards, it's not, not really a time to call upon that that part of you at this point in time. So, I pulled a couple more cards because we got a reverse card. Okay. I have to do a reading. I'll text you. Okay. Have a good night and we'll talk to you later. So, the next card was the Seven of Swords. I have been going off today. Okay, so maybe this is you. <laughs> you're, you're based in your emotions versus your logic. This this card, Seven of Swords, is about gathering your resources, the mental resources needed, and leaving the rest lay there. You've been snapping? Yeah, sometimes that's needed, though, so... I'll leave that one up to you, <laughs> but it's time. It's time to gather the mental resources you need in order to accomplish a, a goal or whatever it is that you are, you're needing mentally, okay? And the next card is the page, another court card, the page of cups. He's, <laughs> it kind of makes sense. If you've been snapping today, it's time to take a breather, take a step back, gather your resources, gather your, your mental energies, breathe, and the page is about gaining mastery of his emotions and being excited to do that. Um, gaining the, the mastery needed on your intuition, your emotions, your imagination. You know, it's about somebody who's learning to do that. So it it's time. <laughs> You've snapped today, so take tonight for yourself. Take a candlelight bath. Take some, some you time, some self-care time, and breathe. Breathe and try to balance your emotions with your logic so that you can have the clarity of thought needed in order to remedy a situation, okay? Sometimes snapping is needed. Uh, that's all I'm going to say, though, you know I mean? But once you've done it, it's it's okay to to break away from it and... Take some time for yourself. Sounds like you need it. Yep. If you want to talk, I'll be in Messenger for a while, okay? All right. It's just you and me, Shante. <laughs> you have a good night. I love you. Thank you all for being here. And we'll see you probably Friday. <laughs>